Hopefully your kids are in bed by now or they might be feeling that sugar rush. Streets were packed with parents and trick-or-treaters braving below freezing temperatures to cash in on the candy. New on Nightside, Kels and Chuck shows us how they kept warm. Well, it was definitely a good night for a full body costume. I'm looking at you, Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> we followed trick-or-treaters around in one Spokane Valley neighborhood and quickly found out the fun wasn't just for the kids. Happy Halloween! There's only one day a year you can walk up to someone's door at night and demand free candy. Oh, I've seen some great costumes. We seem to have quite a few that come by. It's great. Temperatures were bone chilling, but that didn't stop trick-or-treaters in this Spokane Valley neighborhood. We are keeping warm as best as we can. Yeah, just got to bundle up and get all of our jackets and gloves and nice hoods. Are your fingers numb? Not yet. Not yet. We've only been to about 15 houses, so maybe by the 30th. Some homes offered more than candy. Rick Thomas and his wife had their own parent pit stop. The adults, you know, they're out here having a good time. It's all about making the kids have fun or letting the kids have fun, but I think also it's give the adults a little break and have a little snack or a little drink. Crackers here and stuff, and then I just have some little drinks, sparkly ciders, and if you know, Red and white wine. That well, was that, awesome. Yeah, that was yeah. my favorite stop. Yeah. I don't know about the kids, but definitely for us. By 8 o'clock, buckets and pillowcases were filling up. <laughs> and the sugar rush Hello. <laughs> seemed to be kicking in. <laughs> Well, it's estimated that Americans spend more than $2 billion. They will spend more than $2 billion on candy this year. That's about 600 million pounds. Nia? 